Toshi, hi, peace. Hey guys, welcome in. I was uh, appreciate you coming in, saying hi. Yeah, we're just gonna cruise around here. Um, I didn't even know I had people in here before I went live, so. I put the story in the description if you want to go visit that story and read that story uh, concerning the Attorney General's decision to provide a legal uh, fee reimbursement for some cases, I guess concerning ethics. Um, I think ethics are, uh, you know, that can be the root of the corruption. It can be the root of the problem. And so, uh, I guess in some cases, the state is going to say, well, you know, you were right, we were wrong, we'll pay your legal fees. Tapatios, hi, keeping the swine in line. Hi, guys, am I buffering? 420, peace. Appreciate you guys coming in and cruising around with me. You're going to cruise around here, take a little cruise around Alaska here. flying now. <clears throat> Mike Stevens, welcome in. Appreciate you, bro. You're gonna go with me on a little cruise through Alaska today just for about 20 minutes or so. You're welcome to hang out here in the car, talk about corruption, talk about our government, talk about how we as a people have a responsibility to keep them accountable. And it doesn't take a lot. It takes, it takes a citizenry to stand up and make the, the the most minimal effort the most minimal effort to create accountability is just showing up and I mean I can't do it all guys this is Alaska there's a lot of people here but it just takes showing up and you know it's called free press So, as we move forward into this, uh, it's another um, paradigm, uh, paradigm shift that's going on within our, the fabric, actually the fabric of this uh, democracy and Republic uh, is getting perverted through monetary and economical means and that's brought on by tyrants who are trying to start wars um, basically for money So as we drive through Anchorage here, um, please reflect on our state. Uh, I feel like our state is a um, is like a big axis in the whole people liberty movement thing up here in Alaska. Keeping your government accountable isn't easy.
So we're heading through acreage. Um, this is Fireweed Lane. We're approaching Seward Highway here. Treg R. Taylor is, um, is the head of the, uh, he's the attorney general for, attorney general for the state of Alaska. And, um, so... I want to bring him into the light. Seeing that I did email him and let him know the situation of being um, aggressively and maliciously prosecuted. Uh, it's so funny, guys, because the state's governor... Uh, officer, um, officer, Governor Dunleavy is supposedly like really big on the First Amendment. But if you go to that website, if you go to his state website where he's when he came into office, he's spouting he's gonna protect the First Amendment and this and that. And so, everything that is stated in those in that piece of information that he put out concerning his desire to protect people's rights. It, it has nothing in there about the First Amendment right to free press. And so it's kind of a slanted approach on, um, you know, a politician's take on upholding the people's rights when in actuality he is not upholding people's rights at all. He's putting up a facade, and, and and still, we've yet to see the rubber hit the road on that whole thing. So I just wanted to try to expose him because he is basically the head, the the top guy, and um, that's who is prosecuting me. Um. Now, one of the things I wanted to do, guys, um, what's going on is the homeless camp down there is getting shifted around. I guess they're putting them up in hotels now. And keep in mind, for the last two years, like almost two years, the municipality has, there's, there's been a lot of infighting concerning how to use the funds to facilitate uh, to house the homeless here in Alaska um, <clears throat> but I'm looking for support for some audits and some watches I got shut down um, I'm, I'm outlawed from every courthouse in the state until the case is over with um, so basically my civil rights have been stripped away um, the Wasilla Palmer Police Department will arrest me if I go out there um, and so I, I can't really do anything unless I want to go to jail. Uh, uh, it's not like I'm like, I don't know, I guess I am scared. That's a state vehicle. I'm scared to go to jail. Uh, I don't know, I think it'd be kind of silly for me not to be scared a little bit. But the thing about freedom fighting is every aspect of it. So it never really stopped me. 
um, basically because it's just um, I, I go on a belief of um, that is a freedom that shall not be abridged and so if you look at my career over the last nine years everything every injustice has went unanswered uh, pretty much um, even with the Pettus case uh, the state and the federal government basically shit on me and said well you're not you're not worth it so we're gonna dismiss the case with prejudice and um, <clears throat> so I got myself into uh, quite a fix because um, being a veteran and taking the oath of the Constitution uh, for the Armed Services is a big impetus for me but as you guys can see there's termination dust on the mountains I'm not sure where you guys are at if your guys are in a snowy climate or what uh, I hope you guys are staying warm But, uh,
got to keep in mind one of the things uh, one of the things you have to keep in mind is Alaska is the last frontier. office in Wasilla and also the Matsu pretrial public entrance inside of that public entrance where the people can go in and there was a pamphlet rack and everything for people to take pamphlets and everything I'm not sure if it wasn't a public entrance then why would you put pamphlets out there for officers or something coming in or what I don't know but anyways I guess it's gonna come to a head and uh, we'll find out I guess within the law the, the, the if there's any uh, minds with some uh, common sense I guess <laughs> my prosecution. Uh, there's a lot of other crime going on that's, that's uh, a lot of murders going on here, a lot of, uh, a lot of violence. And so the legal system has to deal with that. guys appreciate you coming in we'll go ahead and lend this live feed and uh welcome to check out the article and we'll see you on the next one peace